Hello, this is Brandon Harris with TheUrbanGeek.com. I uh, just wanted to go over some productivity apps. One of the favorite apps in the App Store, one of the most favorite and most appreciated and loved, is uh, called Things. Simply, it's, it's just called Things, but it's awesome because it allows you to create notes and to-dos and things of that nature. Uh, it's great at what it does and it syncs back to your computer and online service as well. But what is bad about it is that it's $19.99 and that's pretty pricey for a lot of people that are looking to purchase an app for a simple to do and note taking. So I figured I'd take it upon myself to show you some applications that uh, are similar in fashion and are all under $5 if not free. So let's get right into it. The biggest competitor you may have heard of this one is Evernote. Evernote has a online service and it also syncs with the online service. That's great. Uh, so to get into Evernote, you have these little portfolios, little pad folios where you keep your notes on certain projects. You can also have one central folder where everything gets stored in and uh, you can leave notes and assign pictures to each note. This app is very easy very simple not complex at all the inner user interface is great and they've really done a great job being able to sync to a service online is awesome what I do not like about this application is that in order to create these different journals you have to sign in online I'd like to be able to create the journals locally on my machine and have them sync to the online service later on uh, you can assign tags to each note and they would appear in here if I had a tag in a note uh, places It'll tell me where I created this document, um, which is, you know, aesthetically pleasing, but maybe not that all that functional. So that is Evernote. Great app. Um, it is free in the App Store. And what's great about it, too, is that it's a universal app. Uh, so the iPhone and this do sync up together. Great app, Evernote. I definitely recommend that, especially for the price of free. Another cool thing, which is not so much note taking, but it is note uh, consuming. Um, you, uh, there are a couple of services in the App Store that will connect to Google Docs. I use Google Docs quite often, and I, oh, we had a crash there. Huh, I was going to recommend this app, but I'm not sure now. Uh, well, anyway, this app is called Go Docs. That's all one word. And what's nice about this is that it will sync up all your documents from Google Docs for you to read. So you can read spreadsheets and uh, you can read documents, PDFs, any, anything uh, that uh, Google Docs supports. Uh, what I don't like about this is that after I sign in from the home page, uh, it always asks me to log in with this little API uh, piece right here. And that's kind of annoying because I have to do that every time. Uh, every time I start that back, that back up, I wish there was a way to save my information, but there doesn't seem to be uh, a way. So, oh, we have another crash there. So it looks like those guys have some work to do. Uh, once again, that is uh, that app is uh, $3.99. I originally got that app for $2.99, and they raised the price uh, the other day. So I guess I got it for a little bit of a discount. Connect is another great application. The Connect is made by Mimeo. It's called the Mimeo Connect Reader. Uh, what's nice about this is that you can actually store and um, bring applications from Google Docs again. Uh, there's no app creation within this document. Uh, oh, seems like a lot of things are crashing today. Uh, hmm, interesting. These guys have some work to do. Anyway, this is another Google Docs service where you can simply read your docs and it breaks it down into presentations, uh, documentation, spreadsheets, and things of that nature. Uh, very slick user interface, uh, a little cheesy at times, but I believe that with a little bit more refinement, this application will be great. Uh, this app is free, and oh, I'm sorry, this app is $2.99, and uh, I definitely recommend it just if you want to read some documents. I would like the ability to create documents within this application because I do like the user interface. I believe that uh, I'd feel very comfortable in this user interface. If you look at this, it's kind of like a little Microsoft courier, like, you know, I got a little journal there, but once again, I cannot create anything within it. So, uh, hey guys, get your game up and let's uh, create some documents within your application. The next, doc next uh, app that I would like to go over is 3Banana. 3Banana is another note um, creating device where you can, uh, I mean application, where you can create the app right within application, which is great. Um, 
it's nice you can assign photos to each note that you create let me save that and edit and I'd like to make a photo in here oh it's not giving me an option right now okay cancel plus add a photo let's see let's add that photo right there save and it did not oh it created a new note let's see if I can add another photo oh this is what I did not like about this app I cannot place more than one photo inside of a note so it's limited to one photo which kind of sucks but once again it's almost like things there's no real to do it's just a whole bunch of notes that you can, you can assign uh, and have photos with each uh, note that you place in there another application is called easy task pad uh, this incorporates some functionality uh, that to do has because you can actually uh, have projects and actually have a calendar that will remind you when things are due if you create a note and do not uh, have a due date or a signed date it throws it in this category called someday uh, which means that it's just something on your plate to do now let's give this an assigned date it's going to be done April 13th or start April 13th and due on the 22nd so let's see what happens Oh, so some I guess it fell into a calendar if there is a calendar on here not quite sure but you know nice user interface not much to it just uh, a nice simple to do um, so these are definitely some apps to look at if you do not want to plop down 20 bucks on one app uh, I think everything I showed you was under five dollars and uh, they are highly enjoyable and seem to be good replacements for the overall to the overall application called things so that's a little rundown of some apps that I would recommend once again this is Brandon Harris from theurbangeek.com thanks for watching